Once again, the Nintendo Switch is out of stock pretty much everywhere. This console has been a hot commodity since its release, but having limited quantities available for purchase means if your Switch experiences the dreaded Joy-Con drift phenomena, you might be stuck with a broken system. Well, we wouldn't want that, so today we're going to show you how to replace the left joystick on your Nintendo Switch and fix that drift. For this repair, you'll need a spudger, tweezers, a set of iFixit opening picks, and the following bits a tri-point Y00, and a Phillips 00. You'll also need a replacement joystick. If you need any of the parts or tools we just listed, we've got good news for you. We've got a Joy-Con fix kit that has all the parts and tools you'll need over at ifixit.com. While you're over there, check out our magnetic mat. We highly recommend it for repairs as it's great for organization, and even though there aren't many screws involved in this repair, they are small and the magnetic mat will keep them stuck in place. To begin, start by removing the Joy-Con from the switch and turn it over so you can see the bottom of the controller. Then remove the four tri-point Y00 screws from the case. Use an opening pick and start prying along the seam at the bottom edge of the controller. Once you've created a gap, slowly slide the pick up the side of the Joy-Con. Not much pressure is needed, so be careful. Hold the Joy-Con with the charging rail facing away from you and open it like a book. Just don't try and fully separate it because two cables connect the two pieces. Use a spudger to gently pry the battery connector straight up, making sure to lift it away from its connector so it doesn't make contact. Grab your opening pick and insert it between the battery and the Joy-Con housing. Pry up the battery gently, it's only lightly adhered in place. With your Phillips driver, remove three screws from the mid-frame where the battery was. There's still a ribbon cable attached to the frame, so don't try and lift it all the way up. To access that cable, lift the midframe up and flip it away from the motherboard as if you were turning the page of a book. With tweezers or spudger, unlock the ZIF connector and disconnect the cable. The next cable you need to disconnect is the minus button cable that runs over the back of the joystick. Unlock it and disconnect the cable to make lifting the joystick easier. Then unlock the ZIF connector for the joystick and disconnect its cable. Now let's unscrew the two Phillips screws securing the joystick to the case and then you can remove the joystick. Install your new joystick by laying it in the case the same way you took the old one out. There's a gasket that should be around the hole where the joystick pokes through. Make sure that it's still in place before you screw the joystick back in. Reinstall the two screws that secure the joystick and reconnect its ZIF connector back onto the motherboard. Reconnect the minus and ZL button cables as well. With those cables connected, flip the midframe back over, being careful not to pinch or damage any of the delicate cables. Screw the three Phillips screws that secure the midframe in, and then reinsert the battery back into the well. To reconnect the battery, press the connector straight down into its socket on the board. Now, as you close the Joy-Con, be extremely careful of the cables. You don't want to pinch any of them as you can damage them and break the device. Once it's closed, you can screw back in the last four tri-point screws and you should be good. Now it's time for you to relax into the never-ending chores on your Animal Horizons Island, drift-free. <laughs>